One thing I learned while giving a very enjoyable lecture at the East Texas Camera Club in Tyler was wait until the actual lecture starts before I hit record. I think they would have waited for me. I entered a little local contest. Um, my friend Danny, who's actually in this picture with her cat, Scraps, actually pushed me to do it. And I got notification just the other day, maybe yesterday, that all three made the exhibition. And something you um, budding artists and, and photographers probably need to know is that there's a thing called ready to hang. Ready to hang sounds like a loose term, but really what it probably means is wire, that there should be a wire on it. I do not hang my photos by wires. I hang them by these two little D rings, but I installed a wire on these. I don't like wires. I think it's cause uh, galleries like to put up one nail or screw and be able to hang the photo, uh, as opposed to my much more secure D ring method or D ring only method. Frame destination in Dallas, uh, but anywhere, uh, I think you can order it from just about anywhere, especially in the United States. When you get a frame, it comes with a, with the um, mounting stuff, and especially with the uh, wire. And I like this wire because it's pre-cut, and also it's it's kind of got this rubber coating on it. And when I do normal wire, I hack my hands apart. It's terrible. It's one of the reasons I hate wire. But anyway, so I'm going to wire this little frame. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo. Give up everything. In keeping with the spirit of Camera and Sakura, I should mention that I skipped out on a photo show this exact same day because I felt like I didn't have anything to enter in it, and I should have, and I missed out on a great show with a lot of friends in it, actually. I just didn't think I had anything worthwhile to share, which was probably incorrect, and I shouldn't think that way about my own work, but live and learn. At least this show was fun. The next day, I had a fashion photo shoot with my friend Caitlin, who is co-owner of Alex and Afton Vintage Clothing in Tyler, Texas. Of note, um, mirrors are tricky to work with, but with, as with groups, it's all chaos until everything's in order. I just, as you'll see here, just piled everyone in front and then arranged them until I could see everyone. I had a rough vision based on some um, old paintings and also figured out along the way about what worked. I bounced the light into them using the mirror itself. And I also knew that they would have to be arranged in kind of a V so I could fit the lens in the crowd and actually see anyone in the mirror. I also figured out that if they stood back from the mirror more, it was easier to see them and uh, for them not to block the mirror. Uh, so that, that worked out because everyone was willing to chip in. Always a quarter is always the flattering. So where you want to look in the mirror like this to be in a shoot, any kind of like quarter, whether it's the back or the front or the, you know, you're touching like this. Yeah. It's really flattering rather than... As usual, it was a ton of fun. She's a masterful stylist and just great at pulling this stuff together. She pulled together a great cast, had a great wardrobe, awesome styling, great makeup, great hair, everything. It was a great location at Vintage History, which is a great furniture store on um, Broadway. No, I'm sorry, on Front Street in Tyler. 
It was another great adventure in Caitlin's eclectic and amazing taste. I was also assisted by my great friend Danny, who um, was a big help behind the scenes. It's not super detailed, but hopefully you enjoy that little glimpse behind the scenes of the chaos. Good planning, good uh, teamwork, especially. A lot of experience and everything else pays off, but the only way to get that experience is to go and do things. So that's one reason why you should learn how to use your camera and you should work constantly because that kind of experience builds up and helps you through moments like this and all the models were awesome and we can't share everything just yet but there are a few pictures as usual feel free to contribute on patreon as rachel singletary and stephanie k smith do and they help pay for these posts so thank them as well and if you'd like to join in for as little as one dollar per post you are free to do that and i'll never do more than four posts in a month at least for pay don't forget to like and subscribe, click notifications if that floats your boat. I really appreciate it and thanks and I will see you next week.